so I want to show y'all what we did yesterday. Um, I had this table. It has a nice, um, it's because I don't have both hands. Was, I think I warped it a little bit yesterday, but that opens up both ways and you can put whatever in it. I have some fertilizer and stuff in it. This is a old ammunition box right here that I'm going to put my soil in it. It's, uh, it says ammunition for cannons. Uh, my ex-son-in-law gave me um, that a few years ago, and I, I just like it. I've had it. I just think it's cool decor. So um, I sanded this table off because it's had plants on it that, you know, the moisture was on it and stuff. I still need to treat it, but um, I just sanded it and... Um, got some of those marks off of it um, we used an old um, window frame here window with the, a whole window but it didn't have any glass in it it's very very old as an antique window I've had it for probably 20 years and it was really old when I got it so it's super duper old but my husband attached it there um, and we attached an old rake head metal rake head here so I have a few um, garden tools hanging off of it he put an extra shelf here so I could have room to just have a um, vintage watering can here my little flower market um, sign and an old basket there here I have a couple of um and my little snippers um, a little hoe and a, a little um, shovel there uh, and a watering um, nozzle um, these are doing pretty good outside. I just put it outside thinking it would help. Um, I can't remember what this is called, but um, this one is the same thing and it's doing better. Um, it's still spaced out pretty good, but I, I really enjoy this. That's the, um, I can't think of the name of it right now, um, but I really like it anyway. So I keep this in it because it um, does better if it has constant water, which I need to refill that already. Um, does better if it has water um, around the clock, doesn't dry out. This thing looks like it's struggling a little bit too. This is a um, wire vine or angel vine. Um, we'll have to see how it does out here. I think it's going to do great because I had another one that was I thought was dead and the girl I bought it from on Etsy she told me to just try it leave it outside and one of them one of the two came back completely I think this is it so we'll see it's struggling a little bit but we'll see if it comes back it probably will um, and this is just one of those wandering Jews I love these um, plants they are so pretty I love the love the colors I'm such a deep deep purple and um, it's so funny because I um, got this off the side of the road when I stopped at a yard sale. I'm like, ooh, that's a pretty plant. And it's a perennial. It keeps coming back. So it's doing great. I have some more over here. Um, I just brought one of my... Um, we also use these um, corbels. Ouch. Sorry. Corbels right here to stabilize this shelf. So I love that look. Um, here I just have a random box and a few extra pots. Um, I ordered a plant stand from Amazon and it had these sweet little sweet little hand tools in it I just thought they were cute and this is some leftover pieces you never know when you need to stake up a plant or something um, I have some fertilizer here this is one of my old pothos that's um, it's okay it's it probably needs to be repotted with some fresh soil but it's doing okay and then I have a, um, another um, terracotta pot here with a little um, <clears throat> wire cloche over it and I have a few um, little ter mini terracotta pots there so that is how it turned out part of my puppies they're greeting and playing with each other I just got home from work so anyways I like that and over here I ordered this plant stand here from Amazon so um, I actually picked this up off the ground the other day it was under an oak tree and I've got water in the bottom of it but not touching it so I'm hoping it's just an air plant I'm hoping it 
it does well. Here I have a jade plant and another succulent and they're probably haven't been watered in a month. <laughs> they're doing okay though. Um, here I have a mother of thousands and some of these things I, you just don't have to touch. This is another jade plant right here. This one's jade. I don't know what this one is. It's some sort of a uh, succulent or sedum or something. Here's some more of the wandering Jew. Um, I don't know what this is, but I really like it. My daughter gave it to me recently. I don't know what any of these are. This I do. It's a, um, mm -hmm. I said I did, asparagus fern. And my daughter had it in full sun, and it, that, it did not do well in full sun. So, um, another pothos back, um, yeah, pothos back here. And this crazy plant, and I can't remember, it's a, I can't remember what it's called. One of my patients gave it to me, and I love it. It's, they say it blooms like once every 10 years or so, but I just like it. I need to transplant it into a bigger pot as well. And then here I have a giant <laughs> pothos um, that's in and out. So um, I just have them out here because they're not my healthiest plants, but I do want them to get some nice, um, some nice, uh, sun and fresh air. have a couple more over here as well. Um, you know, I need to, need to just let them grow. We have our um, smoker out here on an antique table. So, and I have a um, mother-in-law's tongue under here. But um, let me show you a couple more things I have. Um, this is my daughter's um, hydrangea. And then I have I don't remember what this is called, but man, it loves it outside. It has done so well since I took it outside. Um, and here we have a um, these pretty little petunias. And, wow, my tomato plants are struggling a little bit, but that's okay. Um, just that one, it's like looked that way since we got it, but... I have a couple tomatoes and a couple blooms on them. Here I planted, this is an old turkey feeder. I planted a bunch of um, um, sunflowers in here, specialty sunflowers. One of my patients got me and I just love them. And over here, and over here we have um, more sunflowers. They're doing great. I need to weed them out you know and plant some of them in the ground and here we have a pretty uh is that a vinca i'm not sure anyways um that's my daughter's plant and uh it's doing really well in full sun here so um this is our backyard i really want to um I thrifted these cushions and i love them i need to repaint my table now that we got rid of um an old bar off the back porch but um this is our backyard we have some grass some new fresh grass growing that's why we have it mowed because of the um we're trying to let that grass sink in so i have a couple of angel trumpets back here but um that's pretty much it it's a work in progress as always so um you know home home ownership you always have things to do and improvements to make so that's where we are now but um hope you guys are doing great and um, i just wanted to show you a couple of things i had done lately but um that's it for now we'll talk to you soon see you in the next video Bye bye